as we go on a drive and learn more about the oldest trade in Bahrain, pottery. Ali Pottery Factory is a traditional market full of handcrafted items and family-run workshop. It welcomes visitors into the characteristic district of Oli. Artisans' hands model the clay on top of old-fashioned revolving wheels according to techniques which has remained unchanged through generations. It is one of the best places to purchase pottery in Bahrain. They create beautiful pots and handicrafts of virtually every size and style imaginable, from naturally finished to brightly colored pieces. The attention to detail on each piece of pottery is something to applaud at. Ali pottery is a great way to learn about one of Bahrain's most treasured traditions whilst getting some retail therapy too. The pottery is located deep in the heart of Bahrain and amidst 4,000-year-old burial mounds, is Bahrain's biggest pottery handicraft center. Five hundred years. Five hundred years. Yeah. It was from generation to generation. Before there is no ceiling. They put the ceiling, and the ceiling is coming weak or something. Mm -hmm. That's why we built all by stone and uh, wood. Okay. Yeah, you can show. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, do you want to see, see how it works first? This clay, where you get it from? From Rifa. Okay, so and it's Bahrain clay. Yeah, Bahrain clay. And they put in this bowl and then now it's round. It's the mixing. So let's start from here. Yeah. This is the clay, yeah? yeah? Okay, you take us step by step. Okay. Here we have the clay. Mm -hmm. Old thing. This one, even that one is a clay, but it's dry one and the red hair is in there and we take the put in this uh, bowl mm -hmm. and there is a machine is mixer to so mix the clay between what uh, we put mix with water on it and so we uh, put in this one mm -hmm. to clean the clay from maybe there's some stones some rolls and it will be here and when that's coming in here mm -hmm. you can see the clay is coming in here. This is a clean clay, and they, because if stay here, it will be not to dry. Okay. Because it's like cement now. Yeah. So we take it from here to put it here. Okay. By this one. Okay. Okay. Then you see the hole. Yeah. So it's coming and going in there, and to stay here like uh, three, four days. Okay. And it will be a little bit dry, and we take it to mix the clay. Come. Okay. 
Here we keep it to, for a week like this to be uh, more strong. Okay. And after that, we put a lot of clay here. That first, we do it by legs like this. Mm -hmm. And after that, because it's big, that's how we make it by leg. Okay? Yeah. And when that's coming it's, uh, flat, okay. we make it again together and we make it flat. Okay. Yes. And after that, we take small of the clay that we mix by hand mm -hmm. and we work in the wheel. That's crunching and wheel mm -hmm. as would they, what they use before, maybe five, six, seven, whatever. When they start working the wheel, they start like this. They make a hole inside the floor mm -hmm. and they put the wheel inside. But now, before this one, it's now it's iron, mm -hmm. before it's wood. Okay. And then down, because it's big, they put like stone. I will show you there. Okay. And now at the way the way how to work. They uh, spin the wheel by legs mm -hmm. and he work by his hand. Okay. So he's okay. doing it by legs. He only use water and and clay with the clay, only water and his hand. Okay. And if he needs something to do like cutting or what he use another. Now it's the Amy Camoni box, we close it. Okay. And we go to see the oven now. And should we when we finish from that, yeah. Okay, we keep it to dry. I will show you how this dry. How do you want to finish? No. Okay, it's finished. Good. This guy from Pakistan, his name is Hassan. How long he's been doing this? Uh, in Bahrain? How long in Bahrain? Yeah. How long he stay in Bahrain? How uh, One years. One years? Yeah. You like Bahrain? Yeah, I like Bahrain. Uh, good Bahrain. Huh? Good Bahrain. Good, good. Bahrain? Good. Yeah. He learned, he learned work in here. Okay. So when he comes here, then you train him to yeah. do this work, yeah? Okay, so we go for oven now. Not Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, This one is the whole, the... Yeah, the whole in here. But this one, mm -hmm. as they use it for, for you know, when they mix the, like, uh, Floor or something. Yeah. They they use this one before long time ago. Okay. They put the handle here, then they mix it. But same the stone they use it for the wheel before. Okay. 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 This one is electric wheel. Yes. Yeah. Not like this one. So the, the first one we did was uh, traditional. Traditional, yeah. and this one is electric. Yeah. See, is it without moving the hand, the legs stay stable and just the hand is more and it's more fast than the other one. Where are you from? He is from Pakistan, so his name is Ahmad. Okay. So all, all Pakistani here. How long have you been in Bahrain? Yes. Uh, before he was when he is young. Oh, 15 years. 15 years in Bahrain? Yeah. How do you like Bahrain? Okay, Bahrain. Good. Okay, good. good. Bahrain teaching you good? Good. good. Before when he is young, uh, he's coming here. Uh, yeah. to my Fourteen years when he's coming He came to Bahrain when he was fourteen years. Age of 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 and he go, he work, how many years to work? Well, I don't know how to come, I don't know how to come. No, I don't know how to come. 
هو من البحرين كامل تقريبا 20 سنه هذا 20 سنه 20 ييرز ميبي هيز لونج واو ذيس از لونج تايم سو ذيس مين يو لاف بحرين تو ماتش يس يا فيري جود اي لاف بحرين فيري جود Thank you so much. Eh? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Same, but uh, they add this one. This, this, the hole for the put the money inside. Yeah. Okay, and this is all for children. Yeah. And now it's full dry. It's good to put inside the oven. And now we go for oven. Okay. So you dry it first before you put it to the oven. Yeah. Okay. The oven is closed or open now. It's open. Mm -hmm. It's hot, much hot inside. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, temperature maybe 100 inside now. You can feel your touch. Mm -hmm. Okay? Still hot. Because in uh, before two days, they are fire this one. They use uh, kerosene. Okay? Mm -hmm. With this, where is the machine? They take it from here. Okay? Mm -hmm. There is a... Uh, uh, for for control about the 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 uh, kerosene from here, mm -hmm. and that's coming in here. Mm -hmm. And there's a machine should be to work to get the like uh, air inside. And you see all the money box. It's round. You can come here closer. And you see there is there is. Uh, but you see the black one in there? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The box there. Yeah. yeah. This one, the fire is coming from the, uh, from the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, from down to middle. Then all of that, the money box is fire. Before, this one door was closed. Oh, you close it, eh? Yeah, okay. because the, the the fire isn't coming out. Mm -hmm. And only we have four, uh, four lines coming the the smoke. Okay. From here and there and there. Okay. That's and then from there, when it's cooled down, now you remove it. Yeah. When the, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm sure it will be. They take it. Uh huh. Now uh, it's not much hot. Uh -huh. This one is good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not much hot because it's outside, but inside. Yeah. You cannot touch. You see, it's much hot. This one. So you give it at least. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. So you give it at least one day to cool down. Yeah. One day. No. Uh -huh. When they open it, but should be like two days or yeah, two days. <laughs> One day when that's closed, yeah. because we cannot open when that's the hot is like you know how what's temperature? Yeah. One thousand two hundred we need. Wow. Okay. Yeah, serious. And, this, and uh, we need like one day, 24 hours to be cold. Okay. After that, we open just this one, and we keep it also for another one day. For another one day. Tomorrow, oh. maybe they will take it, and they both should be they put inside water uh -huh. to get the clay more strong. Oh, okay. Okay. And some of they paint it, some they seal like this. Okay. Okay. We have a small oven, electric oven, okay. for, for foreign clay. Uh, like, or if you want uh, to make like a glazing or something, we use this one because we have uh, a temperature. We know the temperature is coming, what's the temperature inside. The other one. Mm -hmm. The other one is the traditional one. This traditional one, is... one. We know, we know that's well or not from just looking inside. Mm -hmm. The color for the the, the the pots before when we fire it like like 500 it will be like dark brown uh, dark maroon and after that when that's coming like 800 okay it will be look like uh, uh, between orange or it's coming like red but but when that's coming 1000 it will be red mm -hmm. all the pots will be red like a charcoal yeah okay and when that's coming 1200 all the boats is coming like a light 
Okay. It look like white. Mm -hmm. That's enough. That's. But that's this one you use. This the... one? No, we don't know how. To, we don't open this one because it's locked. No, yeah. I'm saying for the yeah, to check the temperature. Yeah, from here. But that's not work. Should be make it on in there. Okay. So when you say that you get foreign uh, clay, where do you get clay from, which is foreign? Foreign clay because it's available here in Bahrain from UK. Oh, okay. A lot of clay we have here mm -hmm. from one shop they bring from uh, UK. Mm -hmm. We have also two kinds or more, but the famous is two kinds. This is the red clay and buff school clay. Buff school clay is gray. When we fire, it will be like Bahrain. I don't know if there is some of them. No, we don't have. But the red, it will be like this. You can see the terracotta here. Okay, so this red clay is yes, from UK. Will be like this. But I think this one, the. See, this Bahraini clay uh -huh. is different than this. Yes, the color is different. different. I can show you in the one you like. Okay. I mean the between this and this. <laughs> this one mm -hmm. it's, uh, and this one Bahraini. Hi Bahraini la. This one, this one is foreign clay. Mm -hmm. And this one Bahraini when they fire. Okay. Same the clay what he use now. Yeah. That's one. They fire people, but this one they gray, they call buff school clay. And temperature is low, temperature is 950 or more. But this one is 1000. And this one is uh, you just paint it? Yeah, this one is painted and it's Bahraini clay or mix between Bahraini clay and gray. Uh -huh. And this is the money box in there, you can see for the And this one is all painted. Yeah. Friday we close at uh, like uh, 11 o'clock and uh, but from Saturday until Thursday we open from 7 to 7 and you can visit us and we can explain for you about uh, uh, the stage for the clay and we can you can try also tonight uh, how to work our uh, uh, by Bahraini clay and we have a lot of things here from Bahraini clay and that is many things and you're welcome to Bahrain. Next, we visit the Habib Al Sugar Factory, also located in Al Oli district. Bahrain 
pottery is one of the oldest and most widespread of the decorative arts, consisting of items made of clay and hardened with heat. The items made are commonly useful ones, such as vessels for holding liquids or plates or bowls from which food can be served. This traditional industry has remained largely unchanged since 500 years ago, however some changes have taken place, such as usage of gas-powered ovens, instead of wood-fired ones. The mud used in the pottery is fetched from locations in the south of the kingdom after rainfalls and is greatly appreciated by the potters for its quality, as it enables them to work and mold a great many designs, shapes and sizes in an array of decorative color finishes. Bahrain products are of high quality and distinctive colors. The local artisans are highly skilled and very creative. They produce both traditional and modern work of art, including wall hangings of traditional doors, false ceilings with ornamental designs. Most buyers today buy the pottery pieces as a reminder of the old times while foreigners tend to have the pieces for house decorations and as travel souvenirs. The sales of the potteries increase on some occasions such as fasting month of Ramadan, Eid, weddings, and students' graduations.
whenever you are around Ali district, stop and pick out some souvenirs. is Daring the Desert with Esther. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, and share.